Hello guys, good morning to all of you. Myself Saurabh Raj, I am a global trainer for the Instrument and Design in SPI training program. I am the managing director of Sanaya Training Institute Private Limited. Guys, we instrumentation candidates are facing lot of challenges, lot of problems while we are facing any instrumentation design interview. Most of the students have a very good knowledge of the particular subject matter, but they are not able to deliver the answer in a best way and answer in a strategic way so that they can clear the interview. So to clear the interview, we are having uh, some collection of the questions. This is candidate experienced best interview questions part one. Means in this part, I have covered some questions and the rest of the questions will be covered in part two. So let us see what are the kind of questions being asked by the interviewer in the instrumentation design interview and how you should answer the question. What is your strategy to keep the answer of the questions because what you answer in the interview the next question will be arises based on that. Okay, interviewer is never going to ask you the things which you don't know. They always ask the things which you know. Suppose you have tell the interviewer that sir I have not worked on the control valve so he is not going to ask the question on the control valve. It is not supposed that by forcefully he will ask the question on the control valve. If you have told him that sir I have worked on the temperature instruments so he is going to ask the question from the temperature instrument like temperature gauge, temperature switch, temperature transmitter, RTD, thermocouple, thermowave like that. So let us see what are the type of questions being asked in that interview. The first question in every interview asked by the interviewer that is tell me about yourself. Sometimes a student don't focus to give the exact answer. They start from the 10th, 10th class. Interviewer, interviewer is not sitting there to hear your history. Once he asks that tell me about yourself, that means he wants to know that what you have done in your career related to the particular role for which your interview is going on that is instrumentation design interview okay so your focus should be like this is the question through which you can just make your impression in front of the interviewer and you have to tell them about your past after btech just you have you will have to start your past from the btech like you have done your btech in this year from this branch okay don't go for the university percentage okay like that you just precise your answer in a such a way that you will only speak those things which he want to know about yourself yourself okay means uh, you just start from the past like you have done your btech and after the btech in which company you have joined and for which role okay so sequentially after the btech suppose you have Pass your BTEC in 2010 and it's 2022. So you will have to tell from the 2010 to 2022 in sequential way that in which company you have joined or on what, what role you have joined. So try to include your roles related to his requirement. Suppose you are sitting in the interview of instrumentation design training, instrumentation design engineering, and you are uh, replying to the uh, company interviewer that you have done the erection and commissioning job, you have done the maintenance job, you have done the site erection activities like that. Means you are not going to show any of the role related to his requirement so the interview is finished over there only. Means you are not going to be selected. So your answer should be in such a way about yourself so that it should include the requirement of the interviewer. First of all, because in every interview you know that what is the requirement, what is the job description, they have already told you. The next question they may ask, what are the design deliverables we do prepare in instrument design engineering? This is going to give you the exact information about your career that if you have done the instrumentation design engineering work, so you should know that what are the deliverables we will have to prepare. The details of the deliverable we do train you during our instrumentation design training program also. Like those students who have done the training from us for the instrumentation design, first we teach them that what are the deliverables we are preparing in the instrumentation design and then after we are teaching that how to prepare those deliverables and how to tackle the answers.
okay so those guys who has already taken the training from us from the sanaya training institute they know well that how to do the answer of this question on which deliverables you have worked in your past experience now the question is coming very precisely out of all the deliverables which you have tell here he will ask that on which deliverables you have worked in the past so tell them the name of the document only those on which you have very good commands because next question will be from this answer means whatever the answer you will give for these questions the next question will be arises from only from these deliverables so you if you say instrument index if you say instrument io list if you say uh, temperature transmitter data sheet or a specification if you say pressure safety valve so questions will be asked only from those deliverables so keep in your mind that you will have to give the answer of this question only for those deliverables which you know best suppose you tell them instrument index he will ask what are the column of instrument index means instrument index what are the column we uh, keep in our format so tell the important column of the instrument index like tag number loop number line number pin id number location instrument type ff and heart if it is there in your project leakage class seal data sheet number instrument location drawing number vendor name po name model number of the instrument etc like that we can give them the answer okay if if uh, if 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 uh, what are the column in io list if they ask what are the column in the io list so io list provide information about io types okay ai ao di do of the instrument location service loop number instrument function system type redundancy barrier requirements etc so those students who have done the training those students who have gone through this documents they will know the io list column very well what is difference between instrument index and io list now you can see that every questions is coming sequentially means first they ask that uh, what is the deliverables on which deliverable you have worked what is the column of instrument index and what is the column of io list now they are asking about the difference in both so in instrument index we include all instrument including mechanical instrument which is also not connected to dcs but in io list we include only instruments which are sending or getting signals from the control system okay why io list need to prepare separately are you required to prepare for finalization of number of number and type of control system cards and other ha hardware of control system that is why io list is needed to prepare separately which field instrument data sheet you have prepared so now answer only those data sheet which you know well means don't tell them the data sheet which you don't know because if you, you will say any data sheet which you don't know so the questions will be asked next question will be asked from there and you will not be able to answer so just master your some favorite topic favorite uh, instrument and only tell the name of those instruments data sheet for you okay what are the accessories used for the pressure gauge so pressure gauge is also very simple topic we say we understand that pressure gauge is nothing but pressure gauge is also a very important part pulsation dampener pigtail siphon gauge saver adapter swivel nipple etc are the accessories of the pressure gauge for pulsation services which accessories is used for the pressure gauge we know pressure gauge pulsation dampener which type of gauge is used in vibration application and corrosive application so for vibration gauge vibration gauge with pulsation dampener for corrosive gauge shall apply, comply less compliance what is the design standard for the pressure gauge we said say en837 what a standard uh, what is what information does this standard provide okay so en837 part 1 burden tube pressure gauge dimension metrology requirement and testing and en837 part 2 selection and installation recommendation so guys we have seen that some sample question of the interview that how the questions are being asked in the interview and how we should tell the answer of the question based on the strategic way so that we can clear the interview everybody who has done the training from the sanaya training institute i hope they are able to answer all these type of questions in the interview and they feel comfortable while they are sitting in the interview because all these questions we have already mastered you during our training program if anybody is interested for our online training program they may contact us this is our whatsapp number and this is our mail id if somebody want to contact us want to visit our website we are having a website www.sanayatraining.com you may contact any time thank you guys subscribe our channel to get more information more update more video more interview questions and master your skills with us we are here to skills up and 
become we provide the leaders in the industry thank you for your patience thank you very much